Hope you're doing well. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. Um, I had a pretty good one myself. I was able to rest, uh, play quite a lot of The Sims, uh, spend time with my partner. Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, I also watched quite a lot of YouTube, as I always do, and me and my partner are watching uh, Breaking Bad, which has been good. Um, I'd, if you've ever seen that show you'll and you enjoy it, you'll know what I'm on about, but it's, it's kind of like um weird like re-watching it after so many years and stuff i don't normally re-watch series that i've seen before but yeah um i also did another poll on instagram though this time it was a bit more like in depth kind of um basically i asked people what they'd want to see me build next so i asked what packs people wanted me to use um oh i did it as a poll did i just say that i did it as a poll um where you just like kind of put multi-choice questions and then people pick and then obviously I pick the most popular option. So yeah, um, I asked uh, what pack people wanted me to use and the most popular choice was Discover University, um, Parenthood and Laundry Day stuff. Although I had to do another poll to pick between Discover University and Island Living because they ended up tying uh, in the end. But yeah, I managed to get the final winner for that. Uh, I also asked how many sims this house would be for and the winner for that was two. I asked what bonus room or I guess skill room would be included and the results for that were a music room which to be honest I've never actually built before so that was fun and I also asked people what colour scheme or what colour palette I should use and I was surprised at the result actually. Um, I'll put the options on screen now but I thought that the pastel would be the winner. I don't know why, I just assumed that that would be more popular. Uh, but it was actually the third option that was like way more popular. Um, so yeah, let me know if you voted over on Instagram and what you think to what I did with the poll results. And if you want to follow me on Instagram and take part in like future polls that I do, I've linked that in the uh, description as well. So this house is built on a 20 by 15 lot in Newcrest. And yeah, like I said, it's built using Discover University, Parenthood and Laundry Day stuff. It has one bedroom, one bathroom, a laundry room, a decent sized living room and kitchen and a music room. So when I say music room, what I mean is like kind of like a recording room or a, mu a room to listen to like music and stuff. Um, so your sims can play the piano here. There's also quite a few uh, guitars, violins and a laptop where they can write songs. I know they don't write songs at the laptop, they write it from the instrument uh, itself, but I just kind of put there to kind of add to what you would actually use in real life, I guess. Um, and also just to kind of have a computer in the house, I normally tend to include them in my Sims houses. And um, I think, I don't know if this will actually work when you download it from the gallery, but I've set the computer settings to disallow everybody but household members because when I was playing like obviously when you first move into a house or even if you're not just moved in like recently just whenever you're playing you always get your neighbours come around and go on your computer and play sim scuffle forever so yeah I've made sure I've done that um yeah I just wanted to include a computer if I was using other packs to build this I probably would have used um that recording recording thing that you get with is it with get famous or like a dj booth maybe from uh, get together i also put in a jukebox and some wall art that's kind of like centered around music and it's decorated in the color theme that was picked as well i have to admit i did struggle with like the green shade that's in the color palette um and i used more of like a pastel version um but i think i did all right overall let me know what you think to what i did You'll see as well that I changed the shape of the house a little bit because I thought it was looking a little bit like, I don't know, like, have you ever seen those like small churches that you get, that you see in America? I've only ever seen them on like TV shows, so obviously I'm not like super informed on what, like what they are and stuff. I just know that the churches, but I kind of got that kind of vibe from it. So yeah, I changed the layout a little bit and for the kitchen, which I'm building now, um, I did start off with like the green and kind of the red top shade but I just didn't think it was looking good and I couldn't find a matching floor swatch that kind of went well with it so I ended up just going like more monochrome because that was with uh, that was what was with the uh, colour palette. 
so yeah, I changed the house around a little bit and um, I don't know, I, I changed the stairs as well, I think. Because the house is on like the bit of the small side, um, the floor plan was a little bit weird. So I wanted to have the stairs used in a way that made sense, but also make it so that they didn't take up loads of room. Um, because normally I'd put like stairs in the middle of the house or like in the porch way or the entryway, but that was just way too small. And yeah, it just went working out. The stairs would have been like bang on in the middle of the room if I did it like that. So yeah, I had to change that around a little bit. So for the landscaping, I kept it quite simple. I also wanted to have flowers that were like shades of orange, red and greeny blue colour. Um, but it made me think about um, this build overall. It made me think about having like more instruments in The Sims 4, especially when I was building the music room like upstairs. When I was younger, nearly all of my Sims in The Sims 2 could play piano because I thought that was really fun and I really liked listening to the piano music and that when they were like higher skill level and I used to find it hilarious when they were like level one and it sounded awful. Um, but yeah, just, I don't know, when I used to play it, I used to wish for more instruments like all the time. I know you could get more with, uh, is it university you got with The Sims 2? Um, you could get more instruments with that and free time, but I didn't have those expansions, so I only ever had piano, I think. Then in The Sims 3, you had like guitar and then other instruments came with packs, but in The Sims 4, you'd think there'd be even more. Like I want like saxophones, clarinets, flutes, recorders, drums, uh, even like a triangle for child sims, like why not? Like that is something that they should make a kit for, a triangle, I'd, I'd get that. Um, I don't know about other countries, but like playing the triangle is like a staple of British kids' school. Like if you got to play the triangle as a kid, you truly are like blessed. <laughs> yeah, um, but I think, I don't know, I think it would just be good to like, I don't know, just have more instruments, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, because I think the music in The Sims uh, as a whole, like all the games, it's always something that they've got right, like from the in-game music itself. Um, that you play on the actual instruments like the guitar and the piano or the music that's on stereos, radios, whatever um, and then even like the in-game like soundtrack music you know like the build mode music whatever um, it, you don't really have it now but like back in um, The Sims 2 it was like you had build mode music and then you had buy mode music and they were like they would always change when you went between different modes and stuff and just like the music in general like all the games have been really good so, I don't know, I just think having more instruments, maybe if they did like a pack where you could have more instruments and stuff, I think that would be really cool. Um, and I definitely think they could pull it off. I mean, I know it'd be a lot of work, but I think they could do it easily. Um, but yeah, have more music. Because, I mean, how many like absolute bops have come out of this game? Like, when you think about it, or like the iconic ones from like The Sims 1, The Sims 2, even like The Sims 3, like the the theme of that game just really good. Anyway, I'll talk a little bit about the sims that I moved into this house as well. So their names are Rory Hopkins and Natalie Turner. They met at that Peppers pub in Brightchester when they were studying at university. Uh, Natalie went to Brightchester and earned herself a degree in psychology and Rory went to Foxbury and earned himself a degree in drama. They both have gone through like a period of not knowing what they want to achieve because that's kind of what I felt like um, as I was playing with them. I thought that Rory would be, you know, he's uh, into music and all that kind of stuff and he's creative as a sim, but he's not necessarily decided on what kind of career he wants. Like he knows he wants to be a mu musician, but he initially started off maybe wanting to go into acting, um, but now he's kind of dead set on, on wanting to do that. Um, so yeah, he wants to pursue a career in music or in the entertainment industry. And Natalie is still undecided and she's still working part-time as a nanny till she figures out what she wants to do. She might even be interested in going back to university because that's probably something that I'm going to do in my game with her. Um, so yeah, they've saved all the money to buy this little house together. I say little, I think it costs about 90,000 simoleons altogether. But yeah, they've saved like all the money up for that. Maybe they got a bit of help from the parents or maybe got some inheritance or whatever. Um, and then obviously most of the budget has gone into like the music room and stuff. Of course you can do whatever you like with them, split them up, all other outfits, careers, skills, traits, whatever you want to do with them is completely fine by me. Um, but that's just kind of the, the direction that I've gone with in my game. So yeah, like I said, if you want to 
I don't know, you could split them up, you could send them off to university, you could get them into like totally different careers and change their aspirations and whatever. Um, at the minute, I think they're like part way through their aspirations and yeah, I've not really been playing with them for too long, um, but they are a really cute couple. I really like them. Um, again, I did like the bathroom off camera, but I do kind of show a little bit of footage of me just adding a couple little bits to it. I think it's like a split second. When I say added footage, I mean it's like a few seconds um, of footage. Um, but yeah, I include screenshots of that at the end. Sometimes I forget to put screenshots of bathrooms in my builds, uh, in my videos, should I say, because... I think it's just because I build them off camera, I don't really think about them and I don't really think about them when I'm building them, I just kind of do it. Um, I used the university shower, I use that in most of my builds that I don't like upload to the gallery and stuff. Say if I'm doing a video where I'm using like predominantly get together and um, parenthood and another pack or whatever, I don't like to use too many packs in my builds but in my own like gameplay I always use that um, university one just because I think it's like the best shower like I just really like it I like that you can kind of play around with it and make your own like custom shower and stuff um so yeah the bathroom does tend to get ignored um I don't know as well if I even included a bin in this one the past couple of builds that I've done I think I forgot to include bins in the kitchen I always remember to put them outside well most of the time I remember to put them outside and I always tend to do this like little area where they're kind of I guess like I, th I think of it like how I would have it in real life um I know like in our country you kind of have like a separate area where you put all your bins like your recycling ones kind of all go together and you'd have them in like a section of your garden or wherever if you're obviously fortunate enough to have one but like for me I always like to put bins in like separate areas and I always put like three because I imagine that the sims recycle um even without like equal living involved like I just imagine that that's what they do and I think it's like more realistic to do it like that um I also included um a balcony just because I thought why not they could have done me a little bit more space to kind of just sit around and chill out or whatever and I also wanted to include um the chess table I forgot what it was called then uh yeah the chess table and I think I might even like put a bar out here in my own game I'm not entirely sure because I think this the size of the balcony it's not huge but at the same time it's fairly sizable do you know what I mean for a balcony so yeah I might even include that and I don't really think that these sims will ever want to have kids most of my sims always go on to have kids um, and I tend to build my houses with families in mind and you know potentially to have room to grow sort of thing but I think for these sims they probably will never have children I don't think that's something that they're interested in which sometimes I like, I don't know, because I kind of want to carry on the legacy of each of my sims and I don't like to kill them off. Well, some of them I don't. Um, quite a few of them I do, but like for the most part, if I really enjoy a certain sim family, I don't like to like age them up to elders and then they just die with no kind of offspring. So I don't know, maybe that'll change as the sims get older, maybe when they've completed the career paths and whatever else. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll have to see. But I think in my mind, these two just are not really about that. They're more focused on careers and themselves and just kind of wanting to have like free time and whatever else, which, you know, plenty of people live like that. It's a completely valid want to have. Um, not something I can really relate to because obviously I do. I did go on to have kids, but like I get why um, people choose not to. So yeah, um, the upstairs bit is just, I think it's quite basic, but I think it kind of reflects quite a lot of the personalities. Um, obviously, it's got like a bit of the university stuff in there. And I also added those, um, I don't know what they're called, like wall vents, those black wall vents that I put in the music room because I kind of thought that they looked like foam panelling. And I thought if Rory is going to record music or any sim that you have playing up here, is going to even play music then they're probably going to want some kind of sound absorption 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 stuff um because it would get quite loud and stuff like they've got the jukebox and loads of instruments and stuff and yeah they probably want to and it's quite a big room so they probably want to make it more like acoustically good i don't know what i'm going to say then <laughs> they probably want to make it more like acoustic is that the right term i don't know do you make things more acoustic or do you make it more I don't know. Anyway, it's not that important. 
Um, so yeah, like for the landscape, and I said I kept it simple. Um, almost, I think, I, I, I say simple, I think it is quite like over the top because of all the flowers, but it's quite small. Like I don't do landscaping everywhere. I were going to do, or I were going to add those uh, base game, like ivy things that you can get from the debug menu, but I decided against it just because I thought there's quite a lot going on. And yeah, I imagine that they keep the house quite tidy. They wouldn't want ivy, like, growing up the walls or whatever. Um, and yeah, I just kind of put a little rock border. I never used the black swatch of the rocks, so I thought that was pretty cool to kind of add that. Or not cool, but, like, different. Um, so, yeah, it was just kind of fun to play with doing something a little bit different because I did kind of want to keep as much as the colour palette, as much of the colour palette as possible. And, yeah, like I said, I never use them in the black swatch. I normally tend to do the same technique. I'll keep the swatch, that like natural one, and then there's like a reddish swatch and like a bluish swatch. Um, and I tend to use those because I think they look like more natural. Like you don't really see black rocks that are like that dark, do you? Um, but yeah, what else can I say about this build? Um, I guess that's it really. There's not really anything else to say. I think I've covered everything. Um, like I said, if you want to follow me on Instagram, uh, I've linked that below. I do these kind of poll things quite often or I'll ask people, you know, if they want to name a build or or I'll ask if they want to use, if they want to see me use something either in a certain world or use in a certain pack or just little things like that. Just because I like to kind of get people's feedback and see what people want to see. Um, I also ask every now and again if people want to see like a base game build because I do enjoy doing those. I've said before that um, I enjoy doing the base game houses and I've done quite a couple of those now on my channel. So yeah, if you want to follow me on there, that's kind of where I interact with everybody the most. Um, and I tend to do these like little questionnaires and I think my stories are quite interesting if you ever want to see that. Um, I post quite a bit of like queer stuff on there, like queer positivity, people just you know, information, education, all that kind of stuff, um, stuff about autism and ADHD and just, like, stuff that kind of relates to me as a person, so if any of that interests you, like I said, I've linked that in the description, or if you can't be bothered to look down there, my Instagram, uh, ID is simshutchyt, so that's all one word, um, and yeah, I think that's about it, so I think I'm just going to end the video here, I'll leave you with a little bit of music and some screenshots. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think of the build. Um, if you want to download it, my gallery ID is linked in the description as well. It's just Sims Hutch. Um, you can follow me on there if you want as well. Um, but yeah, I'll leave you with screenshots now. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already and if you would like to. And I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>